next match. We're going to get into Lord PGFX Wobbles versus Dawn. And Dawn is one of the Houston players who came down here. There are actually a bunch of Houston players who came down here yeah. to compete in Monday Night Melee. It seems like it. We got a lot of uh, familiar faces, some that I haven't seen in a while. Um, so it's pretty cool to see more people coming up, just showing up, because it's the holidays. Tis the season. Tis the season to get wrecked by DFW. Tis the season for some ass whoopings. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get him. <laughs> All right. Let's We're going go to go to Yoshi's w? story. We're going to go to Marth's story. I love Marth's story. This is my favorite stage, like straight up, bar none. Wobble site. Yes. Press one if you have the wobble site. I I'm so proud of this guy going out there getting sponsored by Panda. <laughs> um, and he's it, he had a great interview with, uh, gosh, it was Daily Dot. He he had an AMA and he had a great interview with uh, Daily Dot and they talked about you know his career up until this point, but his mentality going forward, which is like, I'm he's focusing on being a, a great caster, which he already is, but he wants to go out there and do the hype stuff. But when it, there's some days where he just wants to go out there and prove to everybody, he's like, I can still do this. I, I'm still that guy. Um, he's still the best ice in the world. Oh, by far. So good. He also, you know, in DFW in particular, people really don't like ICs. There's a lot of drama on Facebook about it all the time. Please bring back Smashboards. Please. No, don't. Well, Let's what? just use Reddit. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Okay, anyways. But only good people are allowed. Good people in Reddit. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but anyways, people really don't like ICs, and they say they're boring, and that they degenerate every matchup into like one or two little mini games and all these other things, and of course wobbling, and people really don't like that here, um, which of course is silly. Like don't, don't get, get grabbed. grabbed. Um, Just stop whining. Don't get grabbed, dog. Yeah, it's gonna be here. It's gonna stay here. But wobbles makes me want to play ICs. Yeah, he really does. Because every time I watch him, I see something completely different that I would never have thought was possible. Yeah. He does things with Nana and with desyncs that no one else can do, and he knows We're doing spooky, spooky scary. Spawner. Yeah, he knows spooky, scary darkness things that none of us would ever. None of us are evil enough to think of. Yeah, he's he's, he's an evil genius. He's this is the perfect character for him. I mean, the endless amount of creativity this character brings to the table. Well, here's the grab setup. What's he gonna get? Death. Is what he's gonna get. And you know, he can mix up if he wants to do that uh, as a f uh, forward smash, sending him forward or backward. Oh, yeah, yeah, but a fully buttered just, Nana just, dirty. just destroyed him. Yeah. So now we're going to be going into, going for this back, uh, looking for these setups. He's going to try to see if he can get that grab setup again, but he's going to be doing a good job of just continuing to pressure Fox as he's sitting on the top. He has these mallets, he's going to be able to continue to use it, but. Okay, so this is actually a strat that I talk about quite a bit, which is you have to know to pick your spots where you're going to go after Nana. Because if you go out of your way to get Nana and it ends up getting Sopo, getting decked for it, you did you chose wrong. You chose incorrectly. But if you can do something that, that just separates Nana and it's convenient without taking any risks that you can eliminate Nana, great. And usually, I mean, the best way to do that to keep them split up is going in for drill shines and things like that and then continuing to go on with the combo and whatnot and find out what position is advantageous for you. But... And it's always a mix-up, right? Yeah. So when you've separated the ICs, you really want to kill Nana. Everybody always says to kill Nana. But Wobbles is right there. Yeah. And he's coming for you. Yeah. And you better be careful, because he'll kill you. And and if you're Hamlin, he's going to have PTSD from when he got baited, from him do, like shield-breaking his uh, Sopo and baiting Wa uh, Hamlin to come after him. And then Nana finishes the job. Yo. And he controlled Nana to do it. Yeah. Which is just, you know, why haven't I even thought that that was possible? Because that was something that when I saw that, I just thought, what? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, wow, I, that Jeffrey said. I really feel like ICs players see this game in a whole different light than everyone else. Like, just the amount of creativity they have is just phenomenal. So, big shout outs to uh, all these ICs players out here and all those inspired by them. Big Warren shout Wobbles. out to the ICs players who try to get good without wobbling. Yes. You know, you know, Alls actually said something funny about that. He's like, uh, people ask him, so how do I win with ice? He's like, learn to wobble. He's like, how do I win at a high level with white ice? Learn to not wobble. Yeah. Like, uh, or or mid level. How do I learn uh, play this game? He's like, learn to not wobble. And then once you get to the high level, learn to wobble. Yeah. <laughs> learn to wobble real good. I feel like if you're if you get the at the low to mid levels of play, wobbling is so broken because people don't know how to play safe against ice and you can't do it very well. Yeah. And it's you know essentially a world class punish game that's very, very easy. Mm -hmm. um, and what that does is that that really limits the things that 
you try to do with the character. Right. And because of that, if you feel like you don't need to be doing anything else, you're going to run into the players who don't get wrecked by wobbling, and then mm -hmm. it just feels impossible because you don't have anything else. Exactly, because you're limiting your, your mindset, your tools, and what you have. You know, it's funny when, when Wobbles initially, um, like, he didn't discover wobbling. He, he was someone who's tried to innovate it, he, or rather, he tried to to popularize it right? and go out there and go to the tournament and be like, yeah, we're going to do this. Him and his friend are like, we're going to go out there, we're going to do wobbling, it'll be great, it'll be stupid. And, um, you know, he goes out to tournaments and then he just gets absolutely destroyed because he doesn't know how to play neutral. He just knows how to wobble. And then eventually he gets good enough at neutral to understand, oh, now I can get wobbles a little bit more consistently. And then eventually he turns into this god. Like, there's a lot to this character. There's a lot to this character. If you're just only learning wobbling, you're selling yourself and the character short. You really are. You know, it's a shame when you see wobble masters. It really is because I feel like I'm looking at a character who... I feel like I'm looking at one of those kids who can never grow past, like, four feet tall. <laughs> I really do. Because if that's the case, you know, that's basically the same thing. Mm. Anyways, commanding set by wobbles. Yeah. There's, I mean, a lot of fun to be had, but... Great finish.